there, uh, Big Dude reviewing Revolution Season 1, Episode 5, The Soul Train. Uh, quick, quick recap and uh, theories. There's good stuff and uh, spoilers, reviews, and stuff inside the stuff. Uh, first thing, we find out that uh, Nate is actually Neville's son. I think that's one of the things I said earlier. Um, as soon as you see the, the kid... In Neville's flashback about how he was, you know, a banker guy and, you know, how he became, you know, the man he is today or becoming the man he is today. Uh, you see the little kid and you, you know that that's going to end up being um, Nate. You just know. Okay. Um, we find out at the end his real name is Jason. Um, Mama is tricked in. Well, she's not really tricked. She sees Danny. And, you know, at the end of the episode. And so she basically kind of fesses up a little bit that she knows some stuff. But before I want to get into that, this is the first time we see some sort of a, a map. Okay. We see that there are six uh, republics or militia republics. And uh, some are easy to read. Some are not. Okay. We know that the Monroe Republic, that's one we've seen the whole time. Uh, they are being attacked by what's the called the Georgia Federation and the Plains Nation. All right, they kind of uh, are ganging up on them in St. Louis, you know, right on the Mississippi. And the the way the map is, they those two, if they go together, they can go to the Northeast, Midwest uh, to take over the Monroe Republic. Um, we also see that uh, Texas is a republic. Or Texas is one of these things. Um, the other two are kind of hard to read. The one that's like the desert area, like Arizona and uh, New Mexico and that sort of thing. I think that's called Wasteland. Uh, it might not even be a real republic. It just might be, might be called Wasteland because, you know, not stuff is hard to grow there. And so why bother living there? And the other one is, I think it says California Coalition Valley. or It definitely looks like California... Coalition or Colorado, I think it's California Coalition, something. Um, so, all right, and then at the end, uh, Mama draws uh, uh, the pendant, okay? And uh, we now know that there are 12 pendants. Might as well call them the Zodiac pendants because that makes sense. Um, we know that there are at least three that we have seen so far or know about, right? One was Grace. One is Randall, or like Siler. <laughs> um, and the other is the dude that Grace was talking to on the computer, or Dudette, or something like that. We don't know much more than that right now. And we don't know how far or few between these things go, okay? Uh, the next thing is that uh, there's some good character development. We see Miles, you know, uh, going through some stuff, you know, being a good guy-ish. Sort of, and you know, whatever. You know, Katniss there, Charlie, she's being awesome, going, she's becoming more of a badass type. Nora, she should be called Stabby McStabberson because she's always getting poked by something. Uh, you know, we get Lapidus from Lost, he, he shows up for a minute and he's like, I have to blow up the train. He says, No, Danny's on it. And then, you know, he stabs her. Um, I don't know how far it is from Noblesville to Philly. I did not bother looking it up. You can look it up if you want, but they're going by train. And uh, so that's what's next. Uh, things that are going to happen in the future. Here's our theories. Well, we're going to see more and more pendants come into play. They have to, okay? Um, and then they're, they're, by the end of the season... There'll be some sort of power for somebody or somewhere. It's probably going to end up being with Monroe because he's got the people. Um, we know that uh, Jason has seen the pendant because Aaron was an idiot and knocked it over. And when he's going to be with his dad or something in the study or whatever, or he's going to, or he's going to see something. Uh, he's going to see the drawing, and he's going to be like, "Hey, I've seen one of those things," and they're going to look at him like. Er, and, uh, you know, obviously then they are really going to want to find, you know, the, the traveling band of misfits again. Um, but they're coming towards them anyway, so that's what's up. Uh, we're going to probably see some of these other republics probably by the end of the season. I honestly, um, you know, if it's a 22 
uh, episode season. It's probably going to have like a cutoff in uh, you know January or December or something like that. So we probably got five or six before that happens. Um, there's a very good chance that there will be. They have to show more power stuff because you know, or else it's going to be too much like Lost in in uh, you know the Postman and that sort of thing. Um, so that's going to happen. I think Charlie and Jason are still going to develop something. They're probably going to end up being the president and the 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 wife. You know, they're probably going to get married in a couple of years if this show lasts that long and that's how it'll end up or whatever like that. Whatever. These are theories. They don't have to be true. But there's some really neat stuff happening in here. We still don't know anything about Grace. We still haven't seen Randall since his, uh, you know, arrival. And uh, we keep seeing more and more people from Lost guest starring in this. So that's just, you know, what J.J. Abrams kind of does. Uh, you know, and the, the Krupke, Krapke, whatever his name is here. Let me look at this real quick. The, what's his name there? Yeah, Krupke. Eric. He's he's an Eric too. Go, Eric. Yay. Uh, what do you guys think is going to happen? What are your th uh, thoughts? Um, will we see power before the the break? You know, that they're, they'll do the split season. Uh, will we see more factions involved? Uh, will everybody kind of start working together? Who knows? Uh, the whole thing is, right now, it's about getting Danny back. And then we're going to see that Mom's still alive, even though Miles knows that she's alive. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have some more family conflict drama stuff for sure. And... Um, you know, we'll see if we find some more pendants and that sort of stuff. But uh, I think the pendants are some sort of uh, zero-point energy or whatever. They've got to work through magnetism or something along that way. Uh, like a magnetic field charges them, and then they can power crap or something like that. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Tell me. Peace out. We'll see you in two weeks. Remember, because there's probably like a debate or something next week. Bye.